In this video, I will be unboxing and testing out the LaserBox Pro for MakeBlock. I have always wanted a laser cutter. A few years ago, I actually backed the Kickstarter campaign for the Glowforge laser cutter, which some of you may have heard of. But after years of delays, I finally gave up and got my money back. Ever since then, I had been on the lookout for similar desktop laser cutters. I came across the LaserBox Pro from MakeBlock, and they were kind enough to send me their laser cutter to test and try out. It's quite a big unit, but it seems very well built. It comes with a separate extractor and filter unit, which I think is pretty smart. It allows it to have a bigger extraction fan, and it is also placed after the filter, which helps keep the fan clean. I had a friend pop round to help me move the laser box onto the workbench, as it's quite heavy, and we had a quick play around with it to see how it worked. It's very user friendly, and has a camera on the lid, which shows the work area. I needed to get the machine into the house, but first I needed something to put it on. So I got some spare plywood and started making a mobile cart for it to sit on. I made it 1200mm long by 600mm deep, which is a quarter of a sheet of plywood. This way I could use all the plywood without wasting any material. I'm making it out of birch plywood and using biscuits and glue to put it together, which made for a quick and easy assembly. It turned out to be a pretty big cart. Unfortunately, it still wasn't big enough for the filter unit to sit on top with the laser cutter, but if I had made it any bigger, it would have taken up too much space in the room. I gave the panels a quick sand as it's easier doing it before it's all glued together. I'm using some homemade squares to help keep the unit square while I clamp it up. After the glue is dried, I gave it another sand and chamfered the edges. I then screwed some plastic casters on the base of the cart. Now that I've got it in the house, I can start laser cutting. The first project I made was using the supplied plywood from MakeBlock, which has a sticker on it that is recognised by the camera to automatically detect the material and set the laser to the correct settings. With this plywood, I made a small gift box, which is perfect for holding small things like these wooden guitar picks that I make. The next thing I wanted to try was engraving. I used a piece of cardboard to cut out a template for a piece of plywood. I did this so that I can engrave both sides of the plywood and keep it in the same location when I flip it over. This is for a friend of mine who has a podcast, so I'm engraving his logo onto this piece of plywood which is the base for the headphone stand. I also engraved my logo on the underside. And this is the finished headphone stand. I think it's a pretty cool custom piece to have on your desk, especially if you're using your headphones all the time. Since it's that time of year, I thought I'd make myself a little Christmas tree, since we don't have one. This was pretty straightforward. 
Unfortunately, I didn't have the correct settings and the laser didn't cut all the way through in some areas, so I had to cut it out with a knife which wasn't too big of an issue. I gave it a quick sand to get rid of some of the burn marks and glued it together using CA glue. I then gave it a few coats of spray varnish and it was good to go. This is a cool alternative to a normal Christmas tree, and I figured since we have a green wall, having a plywood Christmas tree would stand out a bit more. We can then hang our DIY ceramic Christmas decorations on it. The last thing that I wanted to make was a laptop stand for my MSI Creator 17 laptop. MSI has a pretty cool and detailed logo, so I wanted to engrave that onto the laptop stand. I cut out the pieces of plywood and put in the piece that I wanted to engrave into the laser box. I placed it in the middle of the work area and used the camera to eyeball the center of the plywood where I wanted the logo to be. I changed a few settings around and here you can see it would take about 10 minutes to engrave. I didn't have to do any measuring or converting the image into a vector file. I just imported the logo and used the camera to position it onto the plywood which made it very easy to do. As you can see this came out pretty cool. I then cut down the plywood to give it a bit more character, sanded it down and gave it a small chamfer around the edges before gluing it together. After I had glued it up, I realized I needed to make a small rebate on the back piece to allow the rubber foot on the laptop to fit through. So I chiseled out the area and glued it back up. After the glue had dried, I gave it another quick sand and finished it with spray varnish. This is a pretty cool and unique piece to have on my desk and is a good way to store and show off the Creator 17 laptop. This thing boasts a 17 inch mini LED display with an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Super Graphics card and I have been using it for my video editing and design work. This is also a good example of how laser cutting and woodworking work really well together for cool projects like these.